On August 14th, the Alotra TV team visited the Odessa Film Festival and talked to its guests and participants. Today we have a wonderful event, the movie festival, and what are your expectations and what are your impressions so far? For me it's the first time in Ukraine, so I expect um, a culture clash for me, because I'm not used of this very, very um, fancy uh, festival. This is the 12th time I'm at the film festival, and the 12th time it surprises me, every time something new, every time different. This is not the first time I have been like this at a festival, and it is solemnly, pleasantly. Kansas is resting, what else can you say? And, and the movies are unpredictable every time, you have to watch it, and then it will be clear what the impressions are, expecting the best. Finally, probably, this is one of the largest events after the pandemic, because people are very tired of sitting at home. They want to dress beautifully, to communicate. It is impossible to remove or snatch it from us. You know, they say like robots, they say we'll be online soon. I don't believe that, because live communication will not replace anything. This event is very interesting. It helps people, helps Ukraine to raise its level on the international arena. So it is very cool. So this is an international festival, there are many international movies shown here, very interesting program, and it's a cultural exchange, it's extremely valuable. We present our film, which was shot in co-production with Germany. It's called Rival. Tomorrow there will be the premiere of the national competition. We invite everyone. What are your impressions of today's events so far? I came pretty late, so, yeah, so far I haven't seen too much, but I really like it, so I'm really looking forward to the event. So everything seems good so far. I was already at a film festival two years ago. I know what to expect. Last year, on the first day, a beautiful film was shown called The Magnificent Era. So I'm looking forward to a beautiful movie, a red carpet and pleasant acquaintances. My first impression is um, happiness, because uh, uh, last time I was there in Odessa, it was two years ago, so before the pandemic, and uh, now we are very happy uh, finally to, to attend again such an event, an international event, because uh, Odessa is the capital of the cinema in Ukraine, and after the, the Cannes Film Festival, we can appreciate and watch a, a very high quality of uh, international movie. Our impressions are the most positive. We love to come to this festival. It's one of our favorite festivals. And of course, our expectations are prizes in the competition of our film. I think that today the whole city and the whole country is waiting because after lockdown, after all the vicissitudes, after quarantine, there is a lack of events, live communication. So naturally everyone is in great joy, in pleasure, in anticipation of the holiday, which will last not only today, but throughout the festival week. And how important is it to organize such events so that people could unite and basically use art as a tool for global unification? This is very important. We, we need this. Some people say, oh, that's, they exaggerate it so much, but I think it's important. The world has to see um, Ukraine, you know? <laughs> such events are certainly important. Last year, this was exactly what was missing. And many people sitting at home felt how much such events can charge. That is, you are distracted from ordinary everyday life, trying on some more beautiful suit or dress. And this, of course, brightens up your life. Especially now, after the whole thing what happened, now everyone can go out again and events like this, it's general, it's very good to see people again. And like, I mean, for other people it's very motivating if they maybe like once their movie or so is played here. So I think that's a big achievement for, uh, for the people here. So I think that's a big motivation. Yeah. I believe that this is very important because this is the content, some kind of cultural content. 
and I'm grateful that such a large scale and beautiful event is held in our country. And of course, I want even more good movies. And it's great that we have the opportunity to see those films that we will not see anywhere else in the world, to watch them at the Odessa International Film Festival. How important do you think it is to hold such events so that people get inspired, get united and begin to create? Yes, of course it is important. It develops culture. People see, people watch, and every year it is better and better. There are more people. It again increases the attractiveness of Odessa. So yeah, it needs to be done. I think this is incredibly important because every person, even a passerby who came here, got inspired and saw all these people who are present here. And perhaps someone will take something from here and will become an actor or attempt to explore different new areas. I won't go to history, cite Wikipedia, but in fact a huge number of good, wonderful movies, a huge number of talented directors were born at festivals. I mean, these are festival directors, and this festival is no exception. Terry Gilliam arrives this week, and he also is a festival director, and began his ascent from the festival cinema. We'll watch a lot of movies, and I'm looking forward to it, a lot of Ukrainian movies, and I don't know so many Ukrainian movies. That's yeah, a new experience. Yeah, an absolutely new experience. If the governments of all countries come to the correct conclusion that only culture can contribute to the development and evolution of our society, then probably we will conquer it all. Hunger, wars and absolutely all the problems that exist in today's world. Today we see so many creative, wonderful, bright people and they are united right now. So what, in your opinion, unites all people in the world, regardless of their nationality, religion, political status or anything like that? What internally unites all of us? When, when people are lucky, like, like Eker and myself, doing what we love doing, that's what unites people. In my opinion, the same. This is why we are together with my husband. This is why we found each other. This is uh, the very important reason. Love. Love for life for your neighbor. Probably it's just the feeling of happiness. Everyone may have a different understanding of happiness, but we are all united by happiness, definitely. Hmm, I think we are all people. That's what unites everyone. Like, if you, like everyone is a person. And yeah, like events, like today, I think there's art that everyone brings together. So like everyone likes art, so I think that's for everyone. Love, only love. Well, probably kindness and love for life. Love. Naturally, I believe that the world is driven by love. I believe that love is the main feeling that should drive all of us. This event, you and me, that is Love is the main feeling that should drive us. Well, naturally, people are driven by a lot of things. To become popular or famous, to be in the public eye. But love is, first of all, what guides the planet, guides the whole world. Well, I think there are a lot of things that unite people, but if we talk specifically about today, art is one of the first things that unite, including cinema, of course. We all love art, and I think art also film, movies, are uh, a language we all speak and, and this is what unites us and I really hope that, yeah, that we all will find a way um, to come together through art and this festival is maybe a chance for it. At the moment, there is a very cool trend in the world which is called the Creative Society and it unites people of completely different areas of activity in an effort to build a world in which every person will feel happy. And I would like to ask you a question. What is true happiness in your understanding and what exactly makes you happy? I have a great lapse work that I love, that I'm creating. I'm building a temple. It makes me happy. This is my family and my dreams. I would say enjoy everything, like people, enjoy time with friends and family. So I would say it's mostly about this, not really materialistic stuff. More like people, I would say, it's the key to happiness. A good question. It's probably hard for me to answer it explicitly, but I'm happy right now. 
Great! Being happy at this moment is probably the most important thing. You know, true happiness is, first of all, when all human desires are satisfied, regardless of their status or capabilities. For me, happiness is probably what surrounds us. Because, for example, my mood mostly depends on the environment. And it seems to me that for every person the environment and the people around him are what comprise happiness. Good question. Well, I think there is no false happiness. It's a kind of state of the soul, a short but happy moment. It is what a person feels in my understanding. How do you see creation? What is it in your understanding and what conditions must be created in society so that it can be called a creative one? Well, our creative society is what we create, it's our projects, it's how we shape them, what kind of people we want to see there. And in general, yes, this is our direction. Creativity is, um, you know, have a love, as I said before, love for art and to find ways of communication, not only by language, but also by pictures and movement and that everybody understands. And this is, yeah, to be creative, to find another way um, aside from the normal way of communication. It's definitely a creative society that makes something new and that unites people by and large. A creative society is a society that puts human above all and his harmonious development, his evolution, his spiritual development, his self-improvement at the center of all development of this society. It is a society in which there is no question of social inequality and in which, on the contrary, there is a question of the need to continually erase the level of the individual. And I think that such a society is the kind of society to which we ultimately aspire. Everyone is creative. It's just that some people are too scared to explore their creativity. The more people that explore their creativity, the more confidence they give to others to follow. Well, in my understanding, creation is when you do what you love, not because of the money. By the way, when you love what you do, there is more money. This is a society where everyone does what he wants. This is a creative society. Well, creation is when you build something, right? It's like in the parable about the temple. You can carry stones, you can build a building, you can build a temple. And what Victoria Tigipka does is that she lifts Ukrainian cinema from the knees. Personally, I respect her a lot for this. Therefore, this event for me is about the fact that there are very talented, resourceful people in our country. A creative society is a society that cares not only about itself, but also about what is around it. This is nature, this is ecology, these are other people. We can say that those people who are engaged in creation, they create the environs. Creativity unlocks so much, it unlocks happiness, it, un it unlocks uh, advancement of people and humanity. Um, and so as a society advances, the more and more creative people come out. This is just another great question, a very good, correct question. Because if there is no creative society, then naturally the opposite effect, society will degrade. A creative society is when, first of all, each person is engaged in cultivating their own garden and bringing something useful and good to this world. For example, you are a professional journalist and you do your job professionally and qualitatively. Someone is a professional politician and he does not go into politics in order to steal or snatch, but in order to really do something good, kind and pleasant, and then it will be really good for the world, for society and for all of us. This is the creative society. What conditions in society must be created so that it can be called creative? Well, in any case, these conditions should be comfortable for us to create something. So, I don't know, I can't say what the criteria are. Probably so there are no restrictions, frameworks. So I would say like creative, that first everyone has the right to be like fully creative. That's like politically, that you're not like um, uh, interrupted or so, so you can like fully be free and share whatever you want and like yeah, not be stopped by someone or like some laws or anything. Yeah. Probably a sense of confidence in the present day 
hope for the future and of course this is energy, creative energy to do something. This, by the way, is already coming. In many countries most people already do what they want. Well, for example, in Northern Europe, in Scandinavia. And we'll get to that point someday too. For this to happen, society at least should not be poor. My opinion is uh, very important uh, to um, work with yourself, uh, work uh, with um, your real uh, dreams, just, just not try to like wait something, you have to just do it, not wait the uh, right moment, this moment right now. Communication, kindness, openness, these are the things that help people create and make things together. What would you like to wish to the viewers of Alatra TV Internet Channel and every person on the earth? Work on yourself more often. Develop yourself every second, every minute. All the best and happiness to your family. I wish everyone to finish their summer brightly. I wish everyone to develop themselves because this is the most important thing. And never lose faith in themselves. Create. Be inspired and be kind towards yourself and other people. I wish everybody just be inspired, be in a good mood, smile more, and everything will be fine. Find what you want to do in life, your dream, live it and try and realize it. I wish you to be happy. Find inspiration by watching films. Be loved. Hear yourself. Love, respect your neighbor. Uh, be all happy, uh, be friendly to people and yeah, enjoy the moment. Since we are talking about happiness, I think happiness is what I'd like to wish everyone. I wish everyone a good movie. Do what you like and enjoy it every day, no matter what. So long live such events and God grant them every day in every part of the world. And it is such events that should be covered as much as possible all over the world. You wonder why you are alone your desire to create a better world Seeing our justice known by home You understand you can't keep silent anymore Don't like the step towards the light